We are changing things up. We're going to climb out of the deep freeze today. It's going to turn warmer for you by the middle of the week, but that will come with a few showers here Tuesday into Wednesday. You can see that warmth right now here in the middle of the country. These are current temperatures. It's in the low 50s in Chicago, 60 in Kansas City, and that's the warmth that's going to kick out the cold that is over us now and the leading edge of that warmth. This is warm frontal boundary, and you can see all around it, a lot of clouds, a few showers, so that's going to move through as we get into the overnight hours. Out ahead of it today, we've still got high pressure and control, so the skies are clear. We've had that cold northwesterly wind flow all weekend long. That is relaxing this morning, and with the lighter winds and the clear skies, it is another cold start out the door. These are the current temperatures, and you know, yesterday morning, it was 9 degrees in Boston. This morning, we're 17, so not quite as cold, but you can see single digits Taunton and Norwood and Bedford and Nashua as well. 12 as you're stepping out in the Worcester area. And take a look at your 12 hour forecast in Boston. We go from the teens right now to 20 degrees at 8 a.m. But if you're going to be out and about for your lunch hour today, it will actually be close to the freezing mark. And then we're going to climb through the 30s close to 40 degrees this afternoon. So it is going to feel much better to you. Certainly more seasonal. Average high this time of year is 43 and we will sneak into the lower 40s. Worcester up into southern New Hampshire, the Merrimack Valley. But with the winds turning to the southeast and they'll stay light, it will be just a little bit colder for you on the South Shore and the Cape today. But We'll have a lot of sunshine throughout the day. By this evening, we're starting to bring in a few clouds. Those clouds thicken up quickly tonight. And by midnight, there might be a couple of snow showers breaking out. But as warmer air comes in aloft, those snow showers give way to raindrops. But those raindrops could freeze on contact here briefly. First thing tomorrow morning. So there is a light chance that we see just a few pockets of freezing rain first thing tomorrow morning. The temperatures are going to be running in the 20s to around 30 degrees. So a heads up for tomorrow morning's commute. It doesn't look like a widespread issue, but north and west of the city especially, there could be a few pockets of some light freezing rain or drizzle. Then we warm it up tomorrow afternoon. We're jumping up into the 40s to around 50 degrees. We're going to keep a lot of cloud cover out there, but not too much shower activity after the morning hours. We're going to wait for this cold front to cross the region. That will happen early on Wednesday, so we'll get a band of rain to come on through, and then we're going to open the door back up to bring some colder temperatures back in late in the week. But showers tomorrow, again, coming in first thing in the morning hours, right through about lunchtime or so as we warm those temperatures up. Then during the afternoon, a lot of clouds, not much shower activity until we get toward late Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. That's when we bring in another band of rain. So between Tuesday and Wednesday, quarter to maybe a half an inch of rain in some spots, and then we're drying things out. Gusty winds on Thursday. It's colder on Friday, and we're going to watch the potential for Sunday with a storm system nearby. It could be cold enough for snow, but we're springing forward this weekend. Nonetheless, mm -hmm. we do turn those clocks ahead one hour this weekend. All right. Thank you, Cindy, yeah. so far.